Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Accessibility Channel. Today, we will discuss the ARIA landmarks. ARIA landmarks are like signposts on a web page that help guide users, especially those with screen readers, through different sections of the content. Think of a web page as a building and ARIA landmarks as the signs guiding you to rooms like the main hall, exit, restroom, etc. Let's start with the banner landmark. The banner landmark typically refers to a container containing introductory or branding information about a website or application. This commonly includes elements like the site logo, company name, and sometimes the main navigation. In many web layouts, the banner corresponds to what we commonly call a header, but it's essential to distinguish that not all headers, less than header greater than, should be given a banner role. Only the primary page header, which typically appears at the top of web pages, should be designated as the banner. HTML representation. While it's common to use the semantic header element for the banner, adding role equals banner is redundant for modern assistive technology, as they often interpret the main header of a page as the banner by default. The navigation landmark, represented by the ARIA role navigation, is used to identify major navigational sections on a web page, such as menus, tables of contents, or indexes. This landmark role helps users of assistive technologies, like screen readers, to quickly locate and navigate through these sections. Purpose of navigation landmark quick access. It allows users to easily jump to the primary navigation sections without having to go through other content. Orientation aid. Helps in providing a sense of orientation on the page, especially for complex websites with multiple navigation areas. Consistent navigation. By marking navigation sections consistently across pages, it offers a predictable and familiar browsing experience. The navigation role should be used for sections that primarily provide navigation links. It is most appropriate for blocks of content that allow the user to navigate to other pages or parts of the same page. Common examples include main site navigation menus, sidebar navigations, pagination links, HTML representation using native HTML5 nav element. The preferred method to define a navigation landmark is to use the HTML5 nav element, which implicitly has the navigation role. It means when using the HTML5 nav element to define navigation, you don't need to define the role equals navigation. Using role equals navigation in cases where you cannot use the nav element, for example, due to constraints in HTML structure or legacy code, you can use the ARIA role attribute to assign the navigation role to an element. In above example, a div element is used with the role equals navigation attribute to indicate a navigation section. Best practices for navigation landmark. Use semantic HTML. Prefer nav over div role equals navigation, as it provides better semantic meaning and is automatically recognized by assistive technologies. Label multiple navigations. If a page includes more than one navigation landmark, use ARIA label or ARIA label edb to provide unique labels for each helping users distinguish between different navigation blocks. Avoid redundancy. Don't use the navigation role on every group of links. Reserve it for major navigation blocks. Overuse can make navigating more cumbersome for screen reader users. Main Landmark the main landmark is one of the key roles in web accessibility. 
defined in the ARIA, Accessible Rich Internet Applications, specification. It is used to indicate the primary content of a web page. This landmark role is crucial for assistive technologies, like screen readers, as it allows users to quickly navigate to the main content area, bypassing other repetitive elements like navigation links and headers. Purpose of the main landmark Direct navigation to content The main landmark directly guides users to the core content of the page, which is especially helpful for screen reader users and those who rely on keyboard navigation. Enhancing usability It enhances the usability and accessibility of a web page by clearly demarcating the primary area of focus, making the page more navigable. Reducing repetition. It reduces the need for users to go through repetitive elements on every page, like headers and navigation menus, to get to the main content. When to use main landmark. The main landmark should mark the primary content area on a web page. This content is typically unique to that page and does not include elements that are repeated across pages, such as navigation bars, footers, or sidebars. HTML representation. Using HTML5 main element the preferred method for defining a main landmark is to use the HTML5 main element, which inherently has the role of main. This semantic element is widely supported by modern browsers and assistive technologies. Using role main to define main landmark. When you cannot use the main element, you can assign the main role to an appropriate element using the aria role attribute. In above example, a div is used with the role equals main attribute to denote the main content area. Best practices to define main landmark. Use once per page. The main landmark should be used once per page. It is meant to highlight the primary content area, and having multiple main landmarks can be confusing for users. No nested landmarks. Avoid nesting other landmarks within the main landmark, as this can lead to confusion about the structure of the page. Avoid repetitive content. Ensure that the main landmark does not contain repeated content that appears on other pages, like headers or footers. Next is the footer landmark. The footer, or content info. Landmark in ARIA is a role used to define a section of a page that contains information about the content. This landmark is typically used for the footer of the page, where you might find copyright information, contact details, links to legal information, or other similar types of information. Purpose of the footer landmark Identification of supplementary information it helps users, particularly those using assistive technologies like screen readers, to identify the area of the page containing supplementary information that is usually at the end of the document. Ease of navigation. Allows users to quickly navigate to or skip over the footer section. Consistency and structure. Provides a consistent and structured way to present additional information related to the content or the organization. When to use the footer, content info, landmark. The footer or content info landmark should be used for the section of a web page that typically sits at the bottom of the page and contains information about the rest of the page or site. This might include Copyright notices. Privacy policies. Terms of service links. Site map. Other site links. Contact information. Social media links. HTML representation. 
using HTML5 footer element. The HTML5 footer element is the most appropriate semantic element to use for the footer landmark. It inherently has the content info role. In this example, footer element is used to define the footer landmark, so no additional role attribute is required. Using role equals content info. In cases where the footer element is not suitable or available, you can use the aria role attribute to assign the content info role to an element. In this example, a div is used with the role equals content info attribute to indicate a footer section. Best practices to define footer landmark positioning. The footer should be placed at the bottom of the page content. Unique on the page. There should typically be only one content info landmark per page. Avoid redundancy. Do not include main navigation links or content that is repeated in other sections of the page. Descriptive content. Ensure the footer includes information relevant to the content or organization, like copyrights, links to legal information, or contact details. Complementary landmark. The complementary landmark role in ARIA is used to identify a section of the web page that supports the main content yet is separate and meaningful. This landmark helps enhance the accessibility of a web page by allowing screen reader users and others who rely on assistive technologies to easily identify and navigate to these supplementary sections. When to use the complementary landmark? The complementary landmark is ideal for content such as sidebars, related links, advertising blocks, or other supplementary content that is related to the main content of a web page but not essential to its overall understanding. The key is that this content could be removed without significantly altering the meaning of the main content. HTML representation using HTML5 aside element. The HTML5 aside element is semantically designated for content that can be considered complementary. It inherently carries a complementary role. In this example, an aside element defines complementary content on the page. The complementary content is related to the main content but can stand alone. It provides additional information or context to the main content without being essential to its understanding. Using complementary role. When you can't use the aside element, you can use the aria role attribute to define an element's role as complementary. Here, a div is used with the role equals complementary attribute to denote a section with useful resources related to the main content. Thank you for joining us in our commitment to digital accessibility. Every step you take towards making the digital world more inclusive is incredibly important and deeply appreciated. By participating in and advocating for accessibility, you are helping to break down barriers and open up a world of opportunities for individuals with disabilities. Contact us at support at hook2accessibility.com.